every letter he had writ and dispatched other. In most uneven and distracted men. His actions show much like to man. Pray heaven his wisdom be not tainted. And why meet him at the gates and re-deliver our authorities there? I guess not. And why should we proclaim it at an hour before his entering that if anyone crave redress of an injustice, they should exhibit their petitions in the street? Ah, he shows his reason for that, to have a dispatch of complaints and to deliver us from devices hereafter that shall then have no strength to stand against him. Well, I beseech you, let it be proclaimed. The times of the morn I'll call you at your house. Send word to men of sword and suit as are to meet him. I shall, sir. Very well. Good night. This deed unshapes me quite, makes me unpregnant and dull to all proceedings. A deflowered maid, and by an eminent body that enforced the law against it. But that her tender shame will not proclaim against her maiden loss, how might she tongue me? If wisdom <laughs> tells her no. For well, my authority bears a so credent bulk that no particular scandal once can touch but it confounds the breather. He should have lived, save that his riotous youth might with dangerous sense have taken revenge for seeming so dishonored a life with ransom of such shame. Would yet he had lived! Alack, when once our grace we have forgot, nothing goes right. We would, and we would not. <laughs>